Good morning guys, this is your Sir DRV again and welcome back for another Among Gods video. So for today, we're going to talk about uh, something that you need to avoid. But before that, uh, I want to ask, how are you guys? How is your treasure hunt? <laughs> okay, it's actually pretty hard. So we still have five more days to power up and hopefully we can beat uh, some of these uh, heroes right here uh, uh, until we get to 25. 25 is acceptable. Uh, 30 is hard, but I think 25 is manageable until the last day. And uh, yeah, let's start with our discussion. So for today, we're going to talk about uh, the next upcoming event. So before, I think last month, oh, not last month, uh, last season challenge, after one week of a season challenge, there's actually... Uh, an event called uh, Guild Tournament. So Guild Tournament is where you, you can gain some points just like this season challenge. There are uh, goals as well that you can do. It's basically pretty much the same as on this season challenge. The only difference is uh, the more you do um, daily summoning, everything you, d you do in the game, it will count towards the total points of your guild so that's how the guild battle battle works so what i want you to uh, what i want you to avoid is uh number one this one uh let's go to the stonehenge you see this guy right here the servants of god this actually is selling some items here so i want you to uh, avoid this servant of god as much as possible don't buy anything from here so the reason why is because we need uh, all of our gems for summoning on the upcoming guild events uh, we need to help the, our guild um, by helping our guild you can gain tons of uh, bonus and you can actually get a red relic after that so yeah, as you can see, I have 27,000 gems, 27,700 to be exact, and I haven't purchased since the last um since the last guild tournament. So, yeah, I haven't but uh, as you can see, I have 27,000 gems just by saving from uh, the daily event. So, yeah, avoid buying anything from here. It's actually not worth it. And what you need to do is to just save your gems and when the guild tournament comes then go here on the tavern and do your summoning use everything that you have um, summoning on the tavern while the guild tournament is on will gain you tons of uh, rewards like uh, this here right here you can get this mythic relics of choice and uh, from the last tournament or yeah from the last guild tournament i was able to uh, buy a red relic and i'm near completing uh, one of the best relic in the game the voice of hermes so i need one more and these three only comes from events okay just like the season pass the guild tournament so and i got one randomly so I just need one more and probably I can get it from the season pass today or right uh, this season pass or I can also get it from the guild tournament it's uh, your choice so I also activated the blood slaughter good for uh, assassins and physical damager attacker and uh, yeah the voices of Hermes uh, the reason why I want this is um, my units or heroes composed of mages in the back line and getting this will help you push more into the campaign and some other um uh, some other fights that need uh, that needed uh, burst damage like uh, boss fights or anything so yeah aside from that what i want you to do is to um if you're going to buy something then just buy this recruitment recruitment voucher here which is uh, i think one of the best purchase from the market and the basic enchanted crystals daily 
and some sometimes you may need the goddess blessing right here for stonehenge for hard uh, hard fight on the stonehenge but most of the time you don't actually need one okay so aside from that um i would say nightmare buster call if you need some resources but right now uh, for old players i think you don't need nightmare campaign buster call anymore <laughs> okay and I'm actually excited to show you uh, my very first golden hero. The light here. shall never Let's fail. Let's see. Um, going to ascend to legendary. All right. So my very first legendary hero, Merlin. Wow. So much boost in power. That's pretty cool. So next ascension is level 76. And I'll oh, probably I'll here? try to ascend one, another one. Probably cage. Go to sleep. I bet you. Have. Yeah, that's it. And uh, yeah, let's see. What are the things that you need to avoid as well? Another thing that I want to talk about is uh, for those new players out there, who's just uh, let's say one week or two weeks into the game, uh, don't rush your hero to ten star because um, what will happen is um, the events the stonehenge and other uh, features that requires um, your total power to be calculated is basing it off your highest star so for example here in the treasure hunt it will actually based on your uh, highest total power and highest star power same goes with the stonehenge so what i did wrong before is i rush my hero one my one hero to 10 star and i am getting decimated in the hard uh hard mode so let me just show you the hard mode here so once you 10 star a hero you will now have the capability or advantage to fight on the hard mode on this stonehenge so what i suggest is to keep your highest star only to eight star and if you get a ton of copies of the same unit just uh, save it for the moment or keep it at the moment and uh, upgrade another hero to eight star um if you have at least three heroes at the same time that you can let's say nine star then go for it nine star those three heroes at the same time but if you're just going to nine star or ten star uh, a one unit then you are wrong very wrong with that because uh, the difficulty spike is too strong and you will have a hard time completing this stages from here so yeah that's just my one cent about this uh, <laughs> this game uh, that's something that i would have done if i've known that from the beginning but the damage is already done <laughs> with my account so I, I just managed and um, what I did is every day I'm buying the Goddess Blessing just to complete the hard stage because I 10 star a hero, uh, only one star, oh sorry, I 10 star only one unit. So yeah, save your copies first, get him to, get him or her to 8 star for the moment once you have enough resources for three or four units to nine star then go nine star them at all at once but my uh, advice or recommendation is only good for low spender to free to play uh, for whales yeah they can <laughs> they can always uh do whatever they can right uh, they can full 15 star in day one if they like 
but uh, if you're a casual player, a free to play or low spender, heed to my advice, don't 10 star as soon as you can. What you need to do is to 8 star 3 to 4 hero as soon as you can. By doing that, you won't uh, be having a hard time with this kind of um, events and you, you won't have a ha you won't have a hard time on the stonehenge as well all right so that's my <laughs> tip for today and uh, if you want some more uh, please hit that like button and subscribe for more tips uh, coming from me and if you have suggestion comments please leave it down in the comment section below and uh, i'll definitely check it out and answer as soon as i can Thank you very much guys and it's a pleasure uh, giving you uh, some tips for this game and hopefully we can get <laughs> to this uh, or we can finish this treasure hunt, right? Okay, um, goodbye for now. I'll see you again last, next time. Thank you very much.